studying for Security Plus, or you have it and you have no idea what to do with the thing, well, let's turn it into money. Now, Security Plus has some amazing focus areas, and to be honest, a lot of them. So you could be a system admin, a network admin, a security admin. Notice admin or administrator is a really common part of the job title. Once you get into the certification game, especially for those of you who are new to certs, meaning that you've just got a cert or you're still studying for it. So to go in and be an administrator or an analyst is really a solid and common practice for entry level jobs for any cert that you get. But if you have taken the traditional CompTIA path and you have your A plus, your Net plus, and now your Security plus, well, you have a ridiculous amount of knowledge that you can really build on, and it's in different areas. So let's talk about what you studied during your Security Plus or what you're studying right now. So we're talking everything from the tech and tools of security all the way through security architecture, how to design uh, protecting a network, even identity and access management, so who can get into where, and we're talking both digitally and physically. You've looked at risk management, different types of vulnerabilities, algorithms, PKI. You have a lot of knowledge that you have foundationally put together with your CompTIA studies. Well, that makes you eligible for a whole heck of a lot. And having an open mind and a solid set of keywords is critical when it comes to a job search. You may not know exactly what you wanna specialize in, other than you want to get your foot in the door for cybersecurity. Well, all of the words that are hanging out right here are keywords for your job search. And there are some pretty common job titles that you can look at as well. So when you're plugging away on Indeed or LinkedIn, looking for your next career opportunity, remember that not everything is going to have the word security in it. You heard earlier that I mentioned system administrator, security administrator, network administrator. So you might want to look at some other options, maybe penetration tester, vulnerability analyst. Maybe you're looking more so to apply some of your past knowledge and experience and just jump into cybersecurity. Maybe you're going to be a security consultant. If you're looking to hunker down and climb the ladder, then security engineer might be what you're looking for. But again, I mentioned that there are definitely some jobs without the word security in them. And here are a couple options that you should be looking at. Make sure that you are being creative in your job search. I have missed lots of opportunities by really just not having a long list of keywords that I'm going after. Uh, when I wanted to start working with robotics, everything I looked for was robotics. But really the job I ended up with a project I ended up working on was mechanical. So make sure that you have a good amount of keywords that you're looking for and you're open-minded. Your dream position might be right behind one of those random job titles that you didn't think of. Now, like I said, security is pretty widespread. You could be securing a network. You could be securing a specific application. You might just be physically securing a building. You might be doing a lot of different things when it comes to securing data. You could be securing data that's at rest. So we're looking at server and cloud security. You might be securing how people get to the data or even who can get to the data. On the flip side, you might be just locking people out of data. What about out of the building itself? So maybe some physical security as well. Lots of job options here. Here are a couple more that you might wanna look at all of which are really going to help you find different positions and get some experience under your belt so that your resume will look awesome. Another great tip that I give to all of my students, when you are in a job search, just search for the actual certification itself. A lot of positions are going to have the certifications that they expect in the job description. So if you look for Security Plus or CompTIA Security Plus, then you may have a lot of different jobs pop up, which will then inspire you to take a look at what positions you're eligible for. Another quick note, with this new world economy and how we're all so well connected, you might be looking at remote positions, which means you are not restricted to your physical area. 
I know a lot of people that live on the East Coast that are working for West Coast companies, vice versa. You might even work for a company in a different country, which is really exciting. You can work from home, you can work from anywhere in the world. So take a look at the keywords that we've shared here. Make sure that you are open-minded in your job search and turn your certification into your dream job. Now your first job out of the gate may not be your dream job, but don't forget these are stepping stones to your career. You are not stuck and you should always be interviewing and keeping just on top of what the current trends are. The more you learn, the more you network, and the more you have your face and your resume out there, the better chances you have of really landing your perfect job. All right, so what are your next steps? Obviously subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Connect with us on Instagram and we'll see you soon with new videos.